What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Endorse 365. Today is January, March 23rd, March 24th, I think it's Sunday. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Since my last update for you guys last Friday, as you see, there has been substantial growth. We have, we have some beautiful little lettuce heads and kale and mini romaine. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. Super leggy. Unfortunately, if you guys are familiar with plants getting leggy, this is what's called plants being leggy. You see this little guy right here? Super tall and super leggy. And what happens in this case is when these plants are all growing, okay, when they're going upward, some of them actually, um, they try to champion out the other plants and they reach high up for the light okay they're literally fighting for light with each other and some of them grow at a faster rate to try to reach the light that's why a lot of times they tell you to bring this light closer to the plants much lower i i, I personally unfortunately i have this larger dome okay and the larger dome doesn't allow the the light to go so close though i mean depending on your setup if you're able to take your light and somehow retract attract it down and then put it back up and have this ability though I do have the ability to do that as you can see actually no I don't because the way that I place them on these latches here on this um, on this wired storage uh, they used to have the ability to get lowered but basically that's what happens okay you get a leggy plant and there's not much you can do about it Honestly, uh, I wish there was, but there isn't. But these guys are all ready to be fully transitioned into our reservoirs. As you can see here, beautiful root systems growing here. I haven't checked these for a few days, but look at that. That's absolutely phenomenal. For all you uh, newcomers to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Michael. I'm an indoor hydroponic gardener. I maintain this grow indoors. As you can see right here, uh, these are my reservoirs. This is the pump, fan. This is just a, just a, just a tray of when I uh, went ahead and fully germinated all these seeds, all these plants from seed. And it's interesting actually, look at this. Look up close, let me see if I could focus in. You see that white part right there? Yeah, there it is, focused in. It's incredible how the root system comes all the way from here, straight down right there and then it makes its way through the bottom. And this is what we use, this is called rock wool. And that's what we use to kind of set inside of the net pods. And I'll show you that in a second. As I, uh, as I put these into the net pods, I'm gonna show you how I set everything up. And uh, because we're gonna set up this entire top row today and probably even set up the bottom row. I gotta clean these, but overall, I'll show you in the video how I set up these three right here. So again, if you're new here, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. At the bottom, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. This way you get notifications every time I upload a video. As well as at the bottom of the video is all the different products that I work with to maintain my grow. Everything from lights, reservoirs, tents, uh, pH readers. You want monitoring systems to check what type of you know humidity and overall temperature that you have inside your tent and especially make sure you get the right pump and I'm actually going to do a separate video in relation to the type of pump that I use, what type of tubing, proper size because um, I've had recent, a ton of people reach out in regards to buying a proper pump for their indoor grow as well as what type of tubing size and what type of tubing should they use? Is it black? Is it clear? And especially what size? You don't want to be going online and buying a pump, though then you buy a roll of tubing that's not the accurate size for these outputs and then you basically have to waste money shipping back a product that you bought thinking it was correct, though unfortunately the measurement was incorrect. So this is what's going on right now. So let, let's continue on. Basically, I'm just going to start transitioning these guys into the net pods and we're going to get them situated in these reservoirs. All right, now, as you can see, I have set up the reservoirs. Okay, check it out. For all you new people, basically what that is inside is an aerator stone. This is the tubing that goes, connects to the aerator stone that provides, as you can see, those bubbles. Okay, that's the oxygen being provided, and that's gonna go into the root level of the plants, 
and that will provide the plants, to, the roots just wanting to go down deep in here and development of the plant. It's just, it's incredible. So as you can see here, the tubing goes right into, um, into the pump. As you can see here, this is what it basically looks like without it being turned on. And that's this one right here. So once I move this lever upward, watch what happens. All right, you see that? And you want to basically, some of them might be getting more push than others. As you can see here, I feel like this one's percolating a little more than this one. So sometimes you want to reduce the airflow to one to create an even effect, okay, across the entire reservoir from one pump. And from here, I mean, you could do four. I don't recommend it. These are long. Um, the aerator stones are pretty long. And um, you definitely don't want them smaller than that, especially if you're using a tub this wide. And that's really it. I mean, if you saw some of my previous videos, I actually show you guys how to create these reservoirs with these, um, you know, with a two inch um, kind of like saw blade that goes right through here. And I create these by myself. And you can actually, you know, at the end of the video, there's going to be a playlist that you could just hit. And it's one of my largest videos showing you guys A to Z on how to create and grow hydroponically. So this is exactly what it looks like. And now, basically the next thing I'm going to be doing is, you know, it takes a while to clean everything. As you can see at the bottom here, I've already cleaned this out, okay? These are, I have, I have actually a total of six containers, the reservoirs that I've created. So these three are actually currently being, they're being dry basically. And these, there's going to be three that'll go in probably tomorrow. But this video will just be showcasing how I'm putting these three in. And um, what I do is, so this is the tubing that I got, and I'm actually going to create a separate video <clears throat> and proper links for tubing, tubing size, and the air pump that I use, just and also the um, aerator stones, just to make sure that everybody's kind of in sync and, and buying the correct product. This is all my hydrotone. These are basically rock pebble. These are clay pebbles. Let me see if we can get a close-up of what that looks like. There it is. And this is nothing. This is just some sort of like... I don't even know what these are made of, like some sort of like volcanic rock. But basically, this is just a filler. Okay, you throw these in. This is called a net pod. Okay, this is called a net pod. And again, the links are right down below, guys. For everybody that wants to set this thing up, very easy. I made it easier than ever for you guys. Hit the links down below and get what you need. What's really important about this, and I've created a video before, is you see the lip. Okay, this is a two-inch net pod. These are two-inch holes. So when that drops in, okay, it's a perfect diameter. It, it falls, it falls right in there on a two inch. But when you're buying these net net cups, okay, and I have the links down below for the proper ones. You see that lip around here? If yours does not have this lip, or the lip is way smaller, you want to make sure it has this lip. That's why they fall in place really easily. Okay, I mean, it's super important for you guys to understand that this is there's there's some precision here, and the little things like that, a little detail like that will make your grow, honestly, just more efficient and easier to maintain and reduce the frustration on when it comes down to trying to set something like this up, all right? Also, for any questions or comments, if you're, if you're in the stage right now where you've already got your reservoir, where you've collected, you know, your, your aerator stones and you have something like this already set up um, and you've got everything down below, Shoot me a comment. Let me know. Shoot me a private message. My email address is even out there. Feel free to contact me and I can tell you where you are and what you need to do from whatever step you're in and I'm happy to do it. So, all right, so this is where we are. And basically now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these net, net cups, okay? Now all you do is literally this. Take a few of these. I throw that in there just like that. And it's gonna be harder to do with one hand, but all you do is you grab one of these, okay? You put it in just like that. And then you take some of this, and then, well, I can't do it with, with one hand, but you would just basically surround the area, okay? And what will happen is it will basically just kind of keep this thing in place. Okay, as you can see there, I was able to do it with one hand. Uh, and that's this is literally all you need to do. And as your plant gets bigger, the roots, well, literally, that's why the bottoms are cut like that. Let's get into the light here. That's why the bottoms are cut like that because the root system literally just goes right through the bottom. 
Okay, usually you want to cover all the perimeter inside up because, um, you know, uh, and it's a, th it's a thing. People, people do not want uh, light getting inside of, of the water. You don't want light hitting the water because that'll create more algae. Uh, I've even had tons of comments in regards to these tubs being white. I mean, look, the algae's not going to make a big difference, okay? Let's get real here. Uh, my plants have always grown nice and strong and beautiful and delicious with these with these white tubs and I've been using these things for years okay when you get something like this done you put the water in put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in there for just a little, little cleansing support boom you're all set nothing additional necessary honestly all right and this is it I mean basically you'll see me fill all this up and and the whole entire row right here will be will be all set just right from here and there all right so as you can see here, everything has been situated. It takes a while, okay? To get things up to par, it literally takes a couple hours. Your first few times, it might be exciting. As you move on and you continue growing, this is the burden, okay? This is the worst part of getting the growth set up, and it's the toughest part. I mean, you literally have to set all this up. Um, each individual one, I mean, take a look. Every single one individually needs to be taken out of those. You put some pebbles in, you put this thing in, then you put the surrounding clay pebbles around. It stinks. Okay, but they look absolutely beautiful and I love how they look. Honestly, I, I just love it. And this is the start to a beautiful grow. And I actually just measured out and I actually have just enough for two reservoirs. Okay, I had to one of them was a casualty did not make it and these are actually super early in the stage so i'll be turning these lights on these will continue growing upward down here below these three are doing fantastic as you can see all set up and in no time this garden will just raise 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 and i will take you through that journey as always this i'm i'm really excited that i finally got this done uh it's so exciting when a whole new grow gets set up and uh, you know, we all get to go on a journey together and watch these little babies continue growing. And then uh, I feast on them and I basically let you know how it is. <laughs> um, that's really it. I've actually, um, as soon as I get those two cleaned, I'll settle this up. And I realized I actually have to buy more net pods myself because I don't think I have enough down here below. This is where I keep a lot of my stuff, uh, like extra timer, a couple other things, old pump. Um, some, uh, here are my nutrients, okay, all these nutrients, that, these are the nutrients that I use, the Clonex, and also the Botanic Care, the Bloom, the Base, and the Grow, and all this stuff is, of course, always listed down below, so make sure to hit those links to get this stuff. This is the best stuff that I've ever found to, uh, to grow, and this is the best stuff to, um, basically soak your growing mediums, which is the rock wool, prior to dropping the seeds in there. And you can find all that information in previous videos that I've posted. Anyway, guys, listen, enjoy your Sunday. Watch the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. And as always, all the stuff that I use to maintain my grows is listed down below, especially this beautiful tent and these awesome lights. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Take care.